Hello fellow aviators, welcome back to the channel which discusses all things aviation and JLGB here welcoming you back. Today we are discussing the RPL, the Remote Pilot License, the one license that allows you to pilot what are commonly known as drones. We all know that drones are those aerial systems that are piloted remotely. They used to be called unmanned aerial vehicles, but because we need to be gender sensitive and to be politically correct, we can no longer refer to these as unmanned. Um, aerial systems because it's not just men that fly also women fly so we cannot call them unmanned so they're drones and they are also called ARPAS which is remotely piloted aerial systems or remotely piloted aircraft there, there are many applications for, for, for drones in, in any given well do you know that in agriculture you know crop spraying is, or crop, crop dusting is now being done using drones in, 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 in law enforcement drones are also useful in surveilling particular areas and collecting um, the data that uh, law enforcement will need, collecting intelligence that law enforcement will need. In the context of war, drones are also used there as well. Um, in, in exploration, in, in nature conservation, in many, many respects, drones are becoming more and more useful. Remotely piloted aerial systems are becoming the norm. Another industry that uses um, remotely piloted aerial systems is the entertainment industry, movie making, videography, photography, shooting weddings, doing this, doing that. So those guys use, you know, um, ARPAS a lot. Um, and it's important for operators of those gadgets to know uh, how to operate them, to be licensed to operate them and to comply with the law. You know, because go undergoing this practical training ensures that you do not necessarily violate the laws by, um, let's say, flying your, 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 your drone dangerously low and too close to a crowd or too close to a building and thereby violating the minimum set by the government um, because you might you now violate the privacy of a person in that, in that regard or actually endanger the, the life and health of a particular person. So it's important for you know, people in, in the entertainment industry, in the cultural industry, in the surveillance industry, security industry, to actually be licensed, trained and licensed and found to be fit to actually uh, operate these, 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 these gadgets. Hence, it's necessary for us to discuss today what are the requirements under South African law for one to obtain a remote pilot license. Number one, the person must be 18 years of age, nothing less. You must also have a class 4 aviation medical. We've discussed the aviation medical a number of times. You might want to check out some of our videos and we'll discuss this uh, particular concept. Um, it's, the aviation medical is not done by an ordinary GP. There is an, 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 a, specific, a specific, you know, designated aviation medical examiner who will do your aviation medical check and endorse you and, and, and confirm that you're actually safe to fly. So for the RPL, you need a class 4 medical um, uh, certificate. You also need to have English proficiency, English language proficiency at level 4 or higher. You also need to pass a restricted radio telephony. Um, in, in other words, you must possess a restricted radio telephony license uh, before you can actually be granted an RPL. The, th the theory training for the RPL doesn't take long, really. It could stretch over seven days. Um, but if you have already in possession an NPL or a PPL or a CPL or any other flying license this puts you at an advantage I mean you could actually finish the theory in, 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 in less time than let's say someone who is just starting out for the first time and doesn't have aviation experience or aviation qualifications you also must undergo practical training at an approved um, training organization that is one that is um, endorsed by the CAA not just you know anybody opening their garage and saying listen i'm training people to to fly drones that's not how it works the organization with which you train must be one endorsed by the caa after that theory training and after that practical training at the ato of your choice you will have to undergo a practical assessment at which point it will be determined whether you are now fit to be granted your license to actually fly drones by yourself obviously after doing that if you've passed you submit to caa and caa will issue the license and boom you have your rpl all right that was a short video on arpas uh, or how to 
obtain your RPL remote pilot license in South Africa. We hope it was informative. Continue to support the channel as you have been doing. We have seen a number of um, positive comments uh, right here on YouTube and some of them in our inboxes on, 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 on social media. And thank you for all those who came through and you know gave us feedback on 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 on, on you know on how the channel is doing. We appreciate that. It's the only way we can you know, grow this channel is the only way we can improve this channel. Continue with that support, continue to like, continue to subscribe, continue to tell others about this channel, especially aspiring aviators. It's the only way we can reach out to the African child and say, listen African child, you too can make it. Remember to keep pushing those hours, to keep adding more, to keep working hard, because with every hour the cockpit records. Angela Dewey here signing out and saying until next time, cheers. Oh, 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 oh,